We're going to wrap things up with one more critical way we can prevent Formosa from building this project, which has been on a lot of our minds for the evening, the morning. Um, and that's why blocking this funding is so imperative, right? Our last tour guide is Michelle Chan, Vice President of Programs for Friends of the Earth. She's going to tell us how the Sunshine Project would be financed, who the key potential financiers are, and how we can stop that. Stop them. Take it away, Miss Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Sharon has given us a rundown of how horrible the Sunshine Project would be, but the important thing is that we can still stop it. The project doesn't have all its permits yet, and it needs to raise money, a lot of it. So the question is, how will this project be funded? We don't know exactly, but we do know it will be expensive, $12 billion, which is already more than Formosa originally planned for. So Formosa will need to borrow most of the funds. Now, as Hoiting showed us early in the presentation, Formosa is a really complicated company with lots of subsidiaries and holding companies, et cetera. And they've actually set up yet another company registered in Delaware, especially to build the Sunshine Project. And so our best guess is that Formosa would need to come up with $2 billion out of its own pockets to capitalize that company. And then they'd have to borrow $10 billion from somewhere else. The question is where? Well, based off of Formosa's fundraising track record, they probably won't borrow most of their money through big banks, um, through big loans from banks. They're probably gonna raise the bulk of it by selling thousands of bonds. And bonds are like IOUs. So Formosa will go out into the market and sell these IOUs to investors. Investors pay the money up front. Formosa gets the money. And in return, the investors get an IOU from the company promising to pay them back with interest. Now, if coming up with $10 billion sounds like a big lift, it is. It's really hard for any company to come up with that much cash, but particularly hard for petrochemical plants. The last time we saw a boom in new petrochemical plant investments about 10 years ago, less than half of the new plastics factories that were announced actually raised the money they needed. So think about that. That means the odds are already good that the funding for a plastics factory like this will fall apart on its own. So if we're organized, we could push it over the edge. And that's what we plan to do. So here's how. Thanks to the amazing leadership of Sharon and others, we are building on a really strong foundation, right? Formosa's federal permit has already been temporarily suspended and Biden is coming under pressure from activists like you just right now, as well as coming under pressure from members of Congress and others to revoke Formosa's permit for good. So the permit question is hanging out there like a big question mark. And then there's a lawsuit and it's challenging some of the project's other permits. And on top of that, the project has received tons of bad press and we're succeeding in framing this project as a litmus test for environmental racism. So there's all this bad juju that's been built up around Formosa on Biden and in the press, but it hasn't hit Wall Street just yet. So Formosa desperately needs these banks, but banks don't desperately necessarily need Formosa. So we are in an amazing, position to band together to direct our pressure at Wall Street and scare banks off the Sunshine Project. And this is where y'all come in by demanding that banks denounce, divest, and defund Formosa and this project. And in particular, there's three banks that we want to turn the heat up on tonight and tomorrow. at Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Wells Fargo. I'll say just a bit on each. Bank of America, this is our first target. They already do business with Formosa and they've already helped the company sell bonds in the past. So even though Formosa is a Taiwanese company, this project is really expensive and it's gonna be built in Louisiana and Formosa will need to raise US dollars to build um, the Sunshine Project. So chances are that Formosa is gonna ask Bank of America to help them sell bonds in the US. So we need to turn up the pressure on them. Our second target is J.P. Morgan Chase. Why? They are the biggest U.S. funder of plastic polymer production, which is exactly what Formosa wants to build, a plastics plant. 
and JP Morgan Chase is also one of the biggest financiers of the plastic supply chain at large. So they're another potential backer of this project. Finally, our last target is Wells Fargo. Our friends at Acre, the Action Center for Race and Economy, have dubbed Wells Fargo the most racist bank in the country. And Wells is already under pressure for its track record of racist financing practices. And we think it will be really sensitive to a project that's becoming known as a litmus test for environmental racism. So we've got a social media pack that we're dropping in to chat with you. And we're also going to be sending to you after the call. And we're asking you and your organizations to pressure these companies on Facebook and Twitter starting tomorrow morning. It's an easy first step. And I promise you there'll be plenty of other opportunities to escalate in the future. So right now, we would love for you to um, take part in a quick poll starting tomorrow morning. Which bank do you plan to pressure on social media? So let's launch the poll. Will it be Bank of America, Formosa's existing financing buddy? Will it be JP Morgan Chase, the country's biggest financier of plastics factories? Or will it be Wells Fargo, the most racist bank in America, or all of them? Right now, we're going to be launching a poll and take 30 seconds to make your choice. Go ahead and click. And in a second, we're going to be able to share the results. All right. Have a couple of seconds left. Okay, the poll is closing. Let's take a look at what folks are interested in. Aha, all of them. Thank you so much for um, all of your enthusiasm. Um, that is super awesome. Again, remember the funding for this project hasn't been lined up. We don't know who the funders are. But that's great news, right? Because this means we have a genuine opportunity to scare them away before Formosa is able to nail down the money. And remember, Formosa needs to raise all this money or it doesn't work. So every bank we're able to scare away makes a difference. You can schedule your tweet um, or your, um, uh, right now if you want, um, and uh, or you could get on um, online tomorrow morning and do it. Um, one thing is that some banks are gonna be scared away by the bad financials. And we've got some great analysis showing that the Sunshine Project will be a money loser and that anyone giving loans or buying bonds um, probably has a big chance of not getting paid back. But just as important as the business case is the moral case. So we need to demand answers from banks. First, will they publicly take a stand against environmental racism and denounce the Sunshine Project? And second, will they commit to not financing this project? They need to hear from you, and it starts now. So together, we can win this. Thank you so very much, Michelle. Now that we've gotten all the facts, y'all, we have some we've had some dialogue and discussion around the facts. It's time for us to take some more action, right? Um, we are going to put in the chat once again the social media pack. I did see some folks say that they are not on social media. Get with us. We'll show us. We'll show you what exactly you can do. You still have people power. We'll be asking all of you to start pressuring that bank once again, as Michelle said, your bank of choice or all three of them tomorrow morning. Feel free to click and open this tab so you have it handy at all times, y'all. So it is available in the chat, and you will continue to have access to it um, if you go ahead and put it in your computer. After this tour, it should be clear that Formosa is not a good neighbor, neither in Taiwan, Vietnam, Texas, nor in Louisiana. We actually suggest that they change their signage accordingly. And so we have um, one of our great assets on the team. Um, she was able, they were able to create um, what we think would be more appropriate signage for Formosa Plastics. So to close out our tour and with our new signage, we're gonna take everyone off mute. Um, so please come off mute if you know how to do it yourself. And we're gonna do a quick chant to close this out tonight. 
We're just going to say three times, stop Formosa, stop Formosa, stop Formosa. So everyone go ahead and unmute themselves and let's close out this webinar. And so Anais is working on unmuting everyone. So just a moment. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. If someone else who's a panelist wants to help unmute, because we got we got a ton of people, which is exciting, but it takes a while to unmute y'all. So if someone else wants to help, we can get chanted faster. Unmute. Okay. Six thirty. While we're getting everyone um, to unmute themselves and getting it done in the chat here, um, just to kind of recollect what we've gone over tonight, guys. Um, so we've got the petition that you can sign to Biden if you haven't done so already. We've got the social media pack, so you'd be locked and loaded and I ready, hear you. ready to go ahead and um, put on social media and really get your organizations involved in putting that pressure on Formosa Plastics. And then last but not least, um, the bank piece of it all. If you want to. Cool. Send me the things okay. I can go ahead. Okay. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and chant our stop for Mosa three times. Everyone ready? Yes. One, yes. one two, three. Stop, stop. Mosa. Stop Mosa. Stop Mosa. Stop Mosa. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.